It's really simple to install static cling Gila window film. Todd, our star, will walk you through each step and show you how it's done. Todd's like you, a do-it-yourselfer, but not a professional installer. As you're working, keep in mind that as an alternative to written instructions, you can use this video to help you during your project. Just keep a viewing device handy as you work. The first step is important. The cleaner your windows, the better your final results will be. Spray your window all over generously with standard glass cleaner. Then take a scraping tool, such as a razor blade scraper, to remove stubborn dirt or paint from the entire window surface. As you go, pay close attention to corners. Now generously spray your window a second time and use a rubber squeegee to get it squeaky clean. Overlapping strokes are best. Next, wipe the window surface and edges dry with a low lint cloth. Also, sweep the cloth around the frame in a firm continuous stroke to remove any remaining dirt and moisture. Measure your window top to bottom and left to right. Plan to cut the film one inch larger on each side. Excess will be trimmed later for a better fit. For those installing our static cling heat controlled film, you will note that there is a non-adhered paper liner instead of a clear adhered liner. First, unroll the film across the cutting surface. Now flip the film over, making the paper liner face up. Now measure the film, making sure you start your measurement at the film's edge, not the paper liner edge. Mark the cuts you need to make using a straight edge to draw your line. Use scissors to carefully cut the film to size. Just before removing the liner, go back to the window and spray once more with application solution. With the film still lying on a clean surface, pull away the liner and generously spray the exposed area with application solution. Then pick up the film by the top two corners and carefully lay the wet side against the wet glass. Keep the top edge level with the outer edges overlapping the frame. The film will flow smoothly onto the glass. Remember, if you have an original edge from your roll, align it with the window edge. You won't need to trim that side. Now uniformly spray the film to wet the outside surface. Look for air bubbles more than a few inches across. Smooth any you find down and out to the side with your hand. Now set the film in place. Firmly squeegee it along the center from top to bottom. Next, start at the top of the window and squeegee horizontally, pushing from the center to one side, stopping about two inches short of the window frame. Continue with overlapping strokes down to the bottom of the window. Repeat on the opposite side. Before trimming away excess film at window edges, take the yellow hard card from the application kit and press along the outside frame of the window. Film should be pressed well into all corners. Now remove the safety cap from the green tool and place the blade at the corner of the window frame. Carefully cut away excess film by pulling down and away from the corner. When you're five to six inches away from the next, stop, turn the tool 180 degrees, Place it firmly into that corner and trim to meet the place where you stopped. Trim the remaining sides in the same way. After the edges are completely trimmed, spray the window again with application solution covering it well. Use a rubber squeegee to seal the film in place, working in overlapping strokes from the middle out. To dry and aid curing, Wrap the yellow hard card in just one layer of the low lint cloth or an absorbent towel and use it to push remaining moisture out from between the window and film, starting each stroke three inches or so in. Rotate to a dry section after every few strokes. Finally, wipe the window clean. Then stand back and admire your work. 
See our Gila Home Installation Tips video for additional useful info.